It's 9.04 right now and happening right now. The Colts are hosting a special breakfast for foster children. It's part of the organization's mission to support youth literacy alongside the Department of Child Services. Julia Dang is live in Westfield at Grand Park with more on the Books for Youth event. Good morning, Julia. Hey, Drew. Yeah, definitely a fun and memorable morning for these children. For many foster youth who move around often, they may not have many things to call their own. Instability can be a theme for them. Well, the children here today, 35 of them, they are each going home with a backpack filled with books. And this is about so much more than just getting them ready for the new academic year. Having books to call their own is a powerful reminder that their futures are in their own hands. With knowledge and curiosity, they can grow up to do and be anything. We talked to Chris Ballard after he had breakfast with the children. That was his message for them. Like I tell them, uh, it doesn't matter the circumstances, it matters what you do with them. And these opportunity to read and learn and grow, um, it doesn't matter where you came from. The Books for Youth program started 12 years ago. It's now a partnership between the Colts, the State Department of Child Services, and Cargo, a local freight company. Over the years, the program has collected more than 850,000 books, and they've given out these backpacks to nearly 9,000 foster children throughout Indiana. If you are interested in having your own book drive, you can find detailed instructions online on how to do that. We're going to have a link for you on wishtv.com. Back over to you, Drew.